Light infantry is a designation applied to certain types of foot soldiers infantry throughout history, typically having lighter equipment or armament or a more mobile or fluid function than other types of infantry, such as heavy infantry or line infantry. Historically, light infantry often fought as scouts, raiders and skirmishers. Soldiers who fight in a loose formation ahead of the main army to harass, delay, disrupt supply lines, and generally soften up an enemy before the main battle. After World War II, the term light infantry evolved, and now generally refers to rapid deployment units including commandos and airborne units that specifically emphasize speed and mobility over armor and firepower. Some units or battalions that historically held a skirmishing role have kept their designation, light infantry, for the sake of tradition. History Topic <inaudible> Ancient History The concept of a skirmishing screen is a very old one and was already well established in ancient Greece and Roman times in the form, for example, of the Greek Peltast and Soloi, and the Roman Velites. As with so-called light infantry of later periods, the term more adequately describes the role of such infantry rather than the actual weight of their equipment. Peltast equipment, for example, grew steadily heavier at the same time as hoplite equipment grew lighter. It was the fact that Peltas fought in open order as skirmishers that made them light infantry and that hoplites fought in the battle line in a phalanx formation that made them heavy infantry. <laughs> <laughs> Modern history Early regular armies of the modern era frequently relied on irregulars to perform the duties of light infantry skirmishers. In the 17th century, dragoons were the light infantry skirmishers of their day, lightly armed mounted infantrymen who rode into battle but dismounted to fight, giving them a mobility lacking to regular foot soldiers. In the 18th and 19th centuries most infantry regiments or battalions had a light company as an integral part of its composition. Its members were often smaller, more agile men with high shooting ability and capability of using initiative. They did not usually fight in disciplined ranks as did the ordinary infantry but often in widely dispersed groups, necessitating an understanding of skirmish warfare. They were expected to avoid melee engagements unless necessary, and would fight ahead of the main line to harass the enemy before falling back to the main position. During the period 1777–1781, the Continental Army of the United States adopted the British Army practice of seasonally drafting light infantry regiments as temporary units during active field operations, by combining existing light infantry companies detached from their parent regiments. Light infantry sometimes carried lighter muskets than ordinary infantrymen while others carried rifles and wore rifle green uniforms. These became designated as rifle regiments in Britain and Jaeger and Schutzen sharpshooter regiments in German-speaking Europe. In France, during the Napoleonic Wars, light infantry were called voltigeurs and chasseurs and the sharpshooters tirailleurs. The Austrian army had Grenzer regiments from the middle of the 18th century, who originally served as irregular militia skirmishers recruited from mountainous frontier areas. 
They were gradually absorbed into the line infantry becoming a hybrid type that proved successful against the French, to the extent that Napoleon recruited several units of Austrian army Grenzer to his own army after victory over Austria in 1809 compelled the Austrians to cede territories from which they were traditionally recruited. In Portugal, 1797, companies of cacadores hunters were created in the Portuguese army, and in 1808 led to the formation of independent cacador battalions that became known for their ability to perform precision shooting at long distances. Light infantry officers sometimes carried muskets or rifles, rather than pistols, and their swords were light curved sabers, as opposed to the heavy, straighter swords of other infantry officers. Orders were sent by bugle or whistle instead of drum since the sound of a bugle carries further and it is difficult to move fast when carrying a drum. Some armies, including the British and French, recruited whole regiments or converted existing ones of light infantry. These were considered elite units, since they required specialized training with emphasis on self-discipline, maneuver and initiative to carry out the roles of light infantry as well as those of ordinary infantry. By the late 19th century the concept of fighting in formation was on the wane due to advancements in weaponry and the distinctions between light and heavy infantry began to disappear. Essentially, all infantry became light infantry in operational practice. Some regiments retained the name and customs, but there was in effect little difference between them and other infantry regiments. On the eve of World War I the British Army included seven light infantry regiments. These differed from other infantry only in maintaining such traditional distinctions as badges that included a bugle horn, dark green home service helmets for full dress, and a fast-stepping parade ground march. Topic. Training. Light infantries were trained better than the regular line infantry. For instance, in Britain during the Napoleonic period, this country was extremely wealthy so both line and light infantries were highly trained, riflemen fired 60 rounds of balls and another 60 of blanks, light infantry fired 50 each, but the line infantry regiments only allowed the soldiers to be trained by 30 rounds each. Also, for Prussia, which was supremely poorer than Britain, allowed their fusiliers, light infantry in this case, to fire 30 rounds of balls and blanks during 1806. However, the line infantry regiments were trained with 10 rounds each. Even though in this time period, when firing for training was considered to various countries very lightly, for light infantries, they had better opportunities of firing practice. Topic. Contemporary Today the term. Light denotes, in the United States Table of Organization and Equipment, units lacking heavy weapons and armor or with a reduced vehicle footprint. Light infantry units lack the greater firepower, operational mobility and protection of mechanized or armored units, but possess greater tactical mobility and the ability to execute missions in severely restrictive terrain and in areas where weather makes vehicular mobility difficult. Light infantry forces typically rely on their ability to operate under restrictive conditions, surprise, violence of action, training, stealth, field craft, and fitness levels of the individual soldiers to address their reduced lethality. Despite the usage of the term, light. Forces in a light unit will normally carry heavier individual loads versus other forces, they must carry everything they require to fight, survive and win due to lack of vehicles. 
although units like the 101st Airborne Air Assault and the 82nd Airborne Division are categorized as Air Assault Infantry and Airborne Infantry respectively, they fall under the overall concept of light infantry. In the 1980s, the United States Army increased light forces to address contingencies and increased threats requiring a more deployable force able to operate in restrictive environments for limited periods. At its height, this included the 6th Infantry Division Light, 7th Infantry Division Light, 10th Mountain Division Light Infantry, 25th Infantry Division, and the 75th Ranger Regiment. Operation Just Cause is often cited as proof of concept. Almost 30,000 U.S. forces, mostly light, deployed to Panama within a 48-hour period to execute combat operations. During the Falklands War in 1982, both Argentina and the United Kingdom made heavy use of light infantry and its doctrines during the campaign, most notably the Argentine 5th Naval Infantry Battalion Argentina and 25th Infantry Regiment Argentina and the British Parachute Regiment and Royal Marines of 3 Commando Brigade. Due to the rocky and mountainous terrain of the Falkland Islands, operations on the ground were only made possible with the use of light infantry because the use of mechanized infantry or armor was severely limited by of the terrain, leading to the yomp across the Falklands, in which Royal Marines and Paris yomped and tabbed with their equipment across the islands, covering 56 miles 90 kilometers in three days carrying 80 pound 36 kilograms loads after disembarking from ships at San Carlos on East Falkland, on 21 May 1982. During the 1990s, the concept of purely light forces in the U.S. military came under scrutiny due to their decreased lethality and survivability. This scrutiny has resulted in the Stryker Brigade Combat Team, a greater focus on task-organized units such as Marine Expeditionary Units and a reduction of purely light forces. Despite their reduction, light forces have proven successful in Afghanistan Operation Enduring Freedom, underlining the continued need for light infantry. Infantry intended for difficult terrain such as mountains or Arctic conditions U.S. Marines Royal Marines, United States Army 10th Mountain Division, United States Army 86th Infantry Brigade Combat Team Mountain, Italian Army Alpini, French Army 27 Eme Battalion de Chasseur Alpins or Jungle Philippine Army Scout Rangers, Brazilian Army Jungle Infantry Brigades. Topic. National examples Topic. Argentina Mountain Huntsman, in Spanish, Cazadores de Montaña Jungle Huntsman, in Spanish, Cazadores del Monte Topic. Belgium 12th-13th Battalion of the Line 1st Regiment Jaegers Te Paard, Mechanized Reconnaissance Battalion 2nd, 4th Regiment Mounted Rifles, Mechanized Reconnaissance Battalion with Electronic Warfare Unit Topic. Brazil. There are two light infantry brigades, 11, Brigda de Infanteria Leve and 12, Brigda de Infanteria Leve Aeromobil, and an airborne infantry brigade, Brigda de Infanteria Paraquedista. The 12th Light Infantry Brigade and the Airborne Infantry Brigade both belong to the Forca de Acao Repita Estratégica Quick Strategic Action Force, which is composed of units capable of rapidly engaging in combat anywhere in Brazil. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Canada. Each of the three regular army regiments, Princess Patricia's Canadian Light Infantry, Royal Canadian Regiment and Royal 22E Regiment, maintains their 3rd Battalion as light infantry capable in airborne, mountain, and amphibious operations, with varying degrees of capability. All reserve infantry units are classed as light infantry, all with varying degrees of capability. Topic Denmark Topic Finland Finnish Jaeger troops, volunteers from Finland in Germany trained as Jaegers. Guard Jaeger Regiment or Huntsman's Guard Regiment, a Finnish Army unit. Jaeger Brigade, a unit of the Finnish Army. Para Jaegers, Special Operations Airborne Infantry in the Finnish Army. UT Jaeger Regiment, the Finnish Army Training and Development Center for Special Forces and Helicopter Operations. Sisi troops can also be considered light infantry. Finnish infantry units are also known as Jaeger, Finnish place. Jokerit, Swedish place. Jagarna, a legacy of a Finnish volunteer Jaeger battalion formed in Germany during World War I to fight for the liberation of Finland from Russia. Topic: <laughs> France. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Ancient regime. The Chasseur designation was given to certain regiments of French light infantry chasseur a pied or light cavalry chasseur a cheval. The chasseur a pied light infantry were originally recruited from hunters or woodsmen. The chasseur a pied, as the marksmen of the French army, were considered an elite. The first unit raised was Jean Chrétien Fisher's Free Hunter Company in 1743. Early units were often a mix of cavalry and infantry. In 1776, all chasseur units were reorganized into six battalions, each linked to a cavalry regiment chasseur à cheval. In 1788, the link between infantry battalions and cavalry regiments was broken. Topic. Revolution and Napoleon In 1793, the ancient regime's Chaucer battalions were merged with volunteer battalions in new units called Light Infantry Half Brigades Demi -brigades In 1803, the Half Brigades were renamed regiments. These units had three battalions of three regular chasseur companies, one elite carabinier company and one reconnaissance voltigeurs company. In Napoleon's Imperial Guard, many units used names linked to light infantry. Chasseur A. Pied, three regiments 1809 1815–1815, 1815–1815, 1815–1815. The regiments were the elite of the light infantry regiments. Fusilier Chasseur, a single regiment, originally the 1st Guard Fusilier Regiment 1809 Voltigeurs, 16 regiments, originally two regiments of Tirailleurs Chasseur and two regiments of Conscript Chasseur 1810 then 12 new regiments 1811 these regiments were expected to become Chasseur APA. Flancure's Chasseur, two regiments, from drafted Forest Service members 1811 to 1815, 1813 to 1815. Topic: 19th century. 
The Napoleonic Light Infantry Regiments existed until 1854, but there were very few differences between them and the Line Infantry Regiments, so the 25 remaining Light Infantry Regiments were transformed to Line Infantry in 1854. Chasseur A. Pied, the Duke of Orléans, heir to the throne, created in 1838 a new light infantry unit, the Tirailleurs Battalion. It soon became, under the name Chasseur A. Pied, the main light infantry unit in the French army. The number of battalions grew up steadily through the century. The current chasseur battalions drew their lineage form this unit, Chasseur Alpins. Some of Chasseur A. Pied battalions were converted to specialized mountain units as battalions de Chasseur Alpins in 1888, as an answer to the Italian Alpine Alpini regiments stationed along the Alpine frontier, Chasseur Forestiers. The Chasseur Forestiers forest huntsmen were militarized units of the Forest Service. They were organized in companies. They existed between 1875 and 1924. Infantry Légère de Frique African Light Infantry were penal battalions forming part of the French forces serving in North Africa. These units were recruited mainly from convicted military criminals from all branches of the French army, who had finished their sentences in military prisons but still had time to serve before their engagement periods were finished. Zouaves, the Zouaves battalions and regiments were colonial troops, formed originally by Algerians, then by European settlers and colonists. The first Zouave battalion was created in 1831 and changed its recruiting to Europeans in 1841. During the Franco-Austrian War of 1859, effective use was made of Zouaves and Chasseur A. Pied see above in evolving light infantry tactics that went further than merely screening the main battle line. At the Battle of Solferina these newly organized skirmishers operated as independent groups that were able to disrupt their Austrian opponents by sudden flank assaults. Tirailleurs, tirailleurs skirmishers were light infantry who formed a shallow line ahead of the line of battle during the Revolutionary, Napoleonic Wars and subsequently. The name was also used for the locally recruited colonial troops in the French Empire between 1841 and 1962. 20th century Chasseur A. Pied, the Chasseur A. Pied evolved during the mid 20th century into mechanized infantry units Chasseur Mechanizes or armored division infantry Chasseur Portes. After World War II, all Chasseur units were organized on the mechanized infantry model. Chasseur Alpins, the Chasseur Alpins, mountain warfare units of the French Army created in 1888. Chasseur Pyrenees and Chasseur Pyrenees were the short-lived 1939-1940 mountain warfare units formed in the Pyrenees. Chasseur Parachutistes, the Chasseur Parachutistes were airborne infantry units formed in 1943 from Air Force infantry companies transferred to the army. Zouaves and Tirailleurs, after the independence of the countries that made up the French colonial empire, the Zouaves and the Tirailleurs units, save for one, were disbanded. <laughs> Modern French Army Light Infantry 7th Chasseur Alpins Battalion 13th Chasseur Alpins Battalion 16th Chasseur Battalion 27e Bataillon de Chasseur Alpins 1st Tirailleurs Regiment 1st Parachute Chasseur Regiment Although the traditions of these different branches of the French army are very different, there is still a tendency to confuse one with the other. 
For example, when World War I veteran Leon Weil died, the AFP press agency stated that he was a member of the 5th Regiment de Chasseurs Alpins. It was in fact the 5th Battalion. Topic: Germany. Topic: India. The Indian Army of 1914 included 10 regiments with light infantry in their titles. These were the Second Queen Victoria's Own Rajput Light Infantry. 5th Light Infantry 6th Jot Light Infantry 63rd Palamkata Light Infantry 83rd Wallahahabad Light Infantry 91st Punjabis Light Infantry 103rd Maratha Light Infantry 105th Maratha Light Infantry 110th Maratha Light Infantry 127th Baluk Light Infantry Most of these regiments lost their separate identity as a result of extensive amalgamations in 1922. The modern Indian Army retains the Maratha Light Infantry and the Sikh Light Infantry. Of the 28 infantry regiments of the modern Indian Army, the following 10 are designated as rifles. They are distinguished by their black rank badges, black buttons on their service and ceremonial uniforms and a beret in a darker shade of green than other regiments. Two paramilitary forces—the Assam Rifles and the Eastern Frontier Rifles—also follow the traditions of a rifle regiment. Rajputana Rifles Gurwal Rifles First Gorkha Rifles, the Milan Regiment. Three Gorkha Rifles. Four Gorkha Rifles. Five Gorkha Rifles, Frontier Force. Eight Gorkha Rifles. Nine Gorkha Rifles. Eleven Gorkha Rifles. Jammu and Kashmir Rifles. Jammu and Kashmir Light Infantry. Maratha Light Infantry Sikh Light Infantry Topic Ireland All Irish infantry troops are trained and equipped as light infantry soldiers Topic Italy Most of the states of the Italian peninsula had their own units of skirmishers before Italian unification. One of the few that survived it were the Sardinian Bersaglieri, who were formed in 1836. They became some of the most iconic soldiers in Italian army and were its quick reaction force. The Alpini are the Italian Army's elite mountain troops, founded in 1875. Although they may not seem a true light infantry unit, they were assigned their own artillery, carried double load of everything, and had a slower marching pace of 45 steps per minute. The Alpini were trained as Jaegers and skirmishers, introducing the use of skis and climbing training for all of their recruits. Those two corps still exist today, but in the years the Bersaglieri, have become a mechanized infantry unit, working closely with armored units, and up until the mid-1990s had their own tank and artillery units. Other units that can be classified as light infantry are the Folgor Parachute Brigade, created in 1963, is the only airborne unit in the Italian army. Apart from one light cavalry regiment, it comprises three airborne infantry and two special force regiments. The Friuli Air Assault Brigade was originally an Italian Army mechanized brigade. In 2000 it converted to a fully airmobile role and is part of the Friuli 
Division. It is composed of three light aviation regiments and one infantry regiment. 66th Regimento Fanteria Aeromobile. Trieste. The only regiment in the Italian army to be fully airmobile. The San Marco Marine Brigade of the Italian Navy comprises three regiments. The first is an amphibious assault unit, the second carries out force protection, boarding and search and seizure procedures on ships and the third is a training unit. Given that it has almost only light vehicles the heaviest being the amphibious Arisgator and AAV-7 landing vehicles and is tasked to operate in harsh terrain shorelines, lagoons, deserts, mountains, jungles, it is one of the purest light infantry units in the Italian armed forces. The 13th and 7th regiments of the Carabinieri were created during WW2 as highly mobile infantry. They are still deployed to war zones as light infantry and military law enforcement units. The Carabinieri also have some domestic law enforcement units trained as light or airmobile infantry. The Squadron Eliportato Cacciatori di Calabria nicknamed the Falci di Spromonte, meaning Hawks of the Aspromonte, is tasked with opposing the Camorra criminal organization, who are numerous and typically armed with military-grade weapons acquired on the black market, and operate deep within the mountainous region of the Aspromonte. The Squadrone Eliportato Cacciatori di Sardegna was created by the Carabinieri to reduce the spree of banditism mainly kidnapping that afflicts the innermost areas of Sardinia. <inaudible> <inaudible> Netherlands Guardi Regiment Grenadier and Jaegers, Guards Regiment, an amalgamation of the Guardi Regiment Grenadier and the Guardi Regiment Jaegers. Consists of one Air Mobile Infantry Battalion. Regiment Limburg's Jaegers, Line Infantry, former 2nd Infantry Regiment. Consists of one Armored Infantry Battalion. Topic: Norway. Herons Jägerkommando, the Armed Forces Competence Center for Ranger, Airborne and Counter-Terrorist Duty in the Norwegian Army. Jägerkompanje, the Norwegian Army's northernmost unit. Marinejägerkommandoen, a Maritime Special Forces unit. Kistjägerkommandoen, coastal units. Grenzejäger, border rangers at the border between Russia and Norway. Topic. Poland Waska Obrani Territorial Nedge, Territorial Defense Force 17 Light Infantry Brigades Topic. Portugal Portuguese riflemen were known as cacadores literally, huntsmen. Portuguese Cacadores battalions were the elite light soldiers of the Portuguese army during the Peninsular War. They wore distinctive brown uniforms for camouflage. They were considered, by the Duke of Wellington, as the fighting cocks of his army. Each Cacadores battalion included an elite company armed with rifles known as Atiradores, literally, shooters. In the first half of the 20th century the Cacadores battalions were recreated as border defense units. In the 1950s, the title, Cacadores, was also given to the light infantry battalions and independent companies responsible for garrisoning overseas territories. Colonial troops with this title were recruited from both Portuguese settlers and from indigenous populations. In the 1950s, the Portuguese Air Force formed a unit of paratroopers called Cacadores Paraquedistas, parachutist hunters, 
Battalions of Cacadores Paraquedistas were later created in Angola, Mozambique and Portuguese Guinea. At the beginning of the 1960s, several special forces companies of the Portuguese army were named Special Huntsmen, Cacadores Especiais. These units wore a brown beret in the color of the uniforms of the Cacadores of the Peninsular War. These units were later abolished and the brown beret started to be used by most of the units of the Portuguese army. In 1975, the designation, Cacadores, was discontinued in the Portuguese armed forces. All former units of Cacadores were redesigned as, Infantry. Currently, every infantry soldier of the Portuguese army is known as a Tirador. <inaudible> Rhodesia The Rhodesian Light Infantry was a regular regiment of the Rhodesian Army, unique in having the traditions of light infantry while serving as a modern commando regiment. Romania Vanatori de Monte, or «Mountain Huntsmen», comprised elite units of the Romanian infantry prior to 1945. Russia The Imperial Russian Army, which was heavily influenced by the Prussian and Austrian military systems, included 50 Jaeger or Jaegerski Egerskij regiments in its organization by 1812, including the Egerski Guards Regiment. These regiments were disbanded in 1917–18. Spain. Historically the Spanish infantry included several battalions of light infantry that were designated as cazadores. These units were incorporated into the ordinary infantry following army reorganization in the early 1930s. Until 2006 the modern Spanish army maintained a Brigda de Cazadores de Montaña Aragon I, Mountain Huntsman Brigade. Aragon I Topic Sweden Jagale elite units in the Swedish armed forces Falskarmsjagarna the parachute rangers Swedish parachute ranger school O Nerike Skvadron intelligence squadron Vadsbo Skvadron, Airborne Squadron Armens Jagarbataljan, Arctic Warfare Rifles Kustjagarna, Coastal Rangers <laughs> United Kingdom The British Army first experimented with light infantry in the French and Indian War, to counter the tactics used by the French allied Native Americans. Along with secondment of regular infantry, several specialized units were raised including Rogers Rangers and the 80th Regiment of Light Armed Foot, though most if not all had been disbanded by the middle of the 1760s. From 1770, all regular battalions were required to designate one of their ten companies a light company, though their training in skirmishing was poor and inconsistent. Dedicated rifle and light infantry regiments began to be formed or converted in the Napoleonic Wars, to counter the French chasseur. A new battalion of the 60th Royal Americans later the King's Royal Rifle Corps was raised in 1797, and an experimental corps of riflemen, later the 95th Rifles and then the Rifle Brigade in 1800. Both were equipped with green jackets and Baker rifles. 
some extant regiments began to be designated light infantry at this point, receiving skirmishing training but generally still equipped with red coats and muskets. In the Peninsular War, a light brigade and later a light division were formed, at some points incorporating Portuguese cacadores. By the Crimean War, rifles had become universal and tactics had substantially changed, meaning the distinction between light and line infantry was effectively in name only. In the Second World War, the use of light infantry was revived in what became the British Commandos and the Parachute Regiment. Because of the nature of their role and deployment, they required much lighter equipment than the rest of the infantry. The Parachute Regiment has survived to this day, while the Royal Marine Commandos are directly descended from those units formed in the Second World War. Their function has changed little since they were formed. Most of the old light infantry and rifle regiments were administratively grouped in a new light division in 1968. The British Army ordered regimental amalgamations in 1957, 1966, 1990 and 2003. The Rifles the largest infantry regiment in the British Army was formed in 2007 from the amalgamation of the regiments of the Light Division. The Rifles maintain the traditional quick parade march of all British Light Infantry, the Rifle Brigades. Rifle Green Number one dress with blackened buttons and black leather belts, and many other traditions and golden threads of its parent regiments. Rifle and light infantry regiments that did not become part of the rifles included the Royal Ulster Rifles, the Royal Gurkha Rifles, the Cameronians Scottish Rifles, and the Highland Light Infantry. Today, light roll infantry is a designation that can be applied to an infantry battalion of any regiment. Light roll infantry are not by default equipped with armored vehicles unlike armored infantry or mechanized infantry. Topic: <laughs> United States In 1808, the United States Army created its first regiment of riflemen. During the War of 1812 three more rifle regiments were raised but disbanded after the war. The rifle regiment was disbanded in 1821. In the Mexican-American War Colonel Jefferson Davis created and led the Mississippi Rifles. Riflemen were listed as separate to infantry up to the American Civil War. During the Civil War, sharpshooter regiments were raised in the North, with several companies being raised by individual states for their own regiments. Topic: References and notes. Topic. Further reading The Partisan in War, a treatise on light infantry tactics written by Colonel Andreas Emmerich in 1789. Topic. External links Skirmishers and light infantry during the Napoleonic Wars a Historical Perspective on Light Infantry